you know, I've served this country and now I'm just asking my elected representatives to serve their community and do the right thing. Active duty in the Navy for 18 years and a Lemon Grove homeowner for a decade. One man is taking his fight with the city to the courtroom after a massive storm drain ruptured underneath his property. New tonight, Fox 5's Kasha Gagorchik is in Lemon Grove with a story of how it happened and why the city says it's his problem. Well, this problem has been ongoing for nearly two years. The man says the city claims it's a private storm drain, but he doesn't accept that explanation. It has to get fixed. Um, this problem is only going to get worse with um, each storm that passes. Every time it rains in San Diego County, Sean Farson's problem gets bigger. This large sinkhole on his property started as a small hole with just a piece of pipe showing in spring of 2020. So he called the city of Lemon Grove when inspectors came out. Farson says he was shown a map from 1960 and told it was a private drain. Soon after, he sought legal action. Water has been draining from these accepted city streets for the last 60 years and they plan on continuing to dump their water here on my land. Um, you know, our lawsuit is basically about getting them to stop dumping their water on my land and fix their infrastructure. Rain like we saw this week only continues to saturate Farson's land, causing erosion on the slope and unsteady ground. When we reached out to the city of Lemon Grove about this storm drain, the city manager said they wouldn't comment on pending litigation. A year and a half legal battle at one point seemed victorious. We paid our lawyers to get everything set up, all the paperwork for the settlement judgment. And a day before the settlement judgment, the city pulled out. And it's not just Farson who is now even further invested in this fight. It's not only my family that's affected by this, but it's my neighbor's family. Uh, because it divides our land in half, uh, we have split the financial cost of um, all of the legal fees. Um, like I said, uh, we're at $50,000 now and we're already projecting out to be at least another 50,000 to see this to a trial, stretching us beyond our means and it keeps me up at night. A court date is tentatively scheduled for this upcoming February. We'll follow this story closely and see how it all plays out. Reporting from Lemon Grove, Kasha Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News. All right.